Zdravo svima. Dobro jutro svima. Ovdje je Maki. <laughs> We have to I synchronize. <laughs> okay. Your uh, first up, the Maki, ovdje je Ivana. <laughs> Kako si danas? Dobro sam, umorno. I don't know if you can see my face. I'm just like tired. No, <laughs> like a bit of no under I don't see. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, we say under eye circles are podočnjaci. Podočnjaci? Mm-hmm, because oko, oči, right? Ah, oči, pod, yeah. Pod. They are under. Exactly, yeah. So uh-huh. under, under eye circles, basically. Um, okay. <laughs> kako si ti danas? Super sam. Uh, danas je sunčano. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Today it's sunny here, I said. Danas nije sunčano ovde <laughs> u oh, Berlinu. <laughs> žao mi je. <laughs> ah. Okay, okay, skroz. That, that's better because it's not, it's not going to be that hot in Berlin then. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it was, we had like showers for days, so. Mm-hmm. Um, and it kind of cooled the air, right? So now it's mm-hmm. around 19, 20 degrees. Um mm-hmm. It's just a bit of a shock, but I think, I mean, I like it. Yeah, today it's here. Uh, it's very nice as well, not too hot. <laughs> yeah, I want to just to kind of introduce something. Yeah. The topic. Kod tebe je toplije. Tebe je toplije, you said? Kod tebe u Srbiji je toplije. U Srbiji je toplije, yes, that's true. Yeah, exactly. It's hot, you said. It's yeah, hotter, hotter, you said. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. yes, everybody. Today we are going to talk <laughs> about adjectives uh, in comparative and superlative forms for you. Exactly. And I love them. They are easy. Some yeah. are easy in Serbian. Of course, there are exceptions, but the rule is easy, I guess. You know what? Uh, thank God you're here because you are the one who's focusing on the Serbian grammar because for me it's kind of like already a given right and I didn't really have a chance to check out a lot of these roles so when you wrote down Mm -hmm. the script I was like oh this is cool you can lead the discussion today because I can learn some new things you know (laughs) but yeah Yeah. Um, I, I took those examples from my book and I already studied them on my own So Mm -hmm. it's time to practice for me as well. Mm, Exactly. Okay. I'm just trying to search for the page. Sorry. (laughs) So first tell me what your favorite adjectives are. Maybe you you can start because almost all of the ones that you chose, I I use them. Easy ones. (laughs) Are the easy ones, to be honest. You know, they're not easy, actually, because some of them are irregular, but they are very common. They're so common. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can start. Okay, let me start then. So my first adjective is dobro, of course. Mm-hmm. Well, I... Uh, so dobar. I wrote, exactly. Yeah, you changed it, right? <laughs> yes, because dobro is usually... I mean, it can also be uh, like dobro for neuter, for a neuter noun, right? Dobro mm-hmm. mesto, like a, a good place. But yeah. usually, for some reason, we use a masculine by default. Because mm. in this case, if you say dobro, it can also mean like an uh, adverb, right? Mm. Uh, so, well, like how are you today? I'm well, right? Dobro sam. Mm-hmm, like, uh, or uh, učim dobro or something mm-hmm. like that. So that... that ne govorim dobro. Exactly, <laughs> which describes yeah. the, the action, right? The verb. Yeah, so yeah. that's why I was... So dobar. Mm. dobar. Dobar is good in, in Serbian. Mm-hmm. And beautiful, lep. Mm-hmm. Lepo. Uh, how is I love that? how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Lep. Mm-hmm. And lut, which is not expected. Lut, luta, I use uh-huh. in general, luta. But that's difficult, lut, right? We have this lut, lut, yeah. yes, lut, but it means hot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love spicy food, so I use lut, is it lut all the time? <laughs> you can also use it as angry, right? Uh, Someone's angry. Mm-hmm. And um, I wrote something else, but you changed it to topao. <laughs> Exactly. So you said topolo, I think. Topolo, yes. I, yeah, but again, if you say topolo, then it would mean like an adverb, 
um, instead mm-hmm. of like an adjective potentially I mean it could mean that's why it's a bit confusing so I wrote nice down topo but for a topo. feminine it would be like topla right so these are like mm-hmm. things that can change I see on the menu as I always see it in top love <laughs> form I, yeah. I have a top line in my mind okay topo and hladan yeah cold <laughs> cold you know you just made a really good point which is like just connected to the things that you see or like hear quite often so for example mm-hmm. topla predila right um yes. toplo yellow you can say still toplo right mm-hmm. uh, but that topla yellow chocolate. Topla chocolate. there you go so okay <laughs> and those gonna... were the ones that i chose how about yours yeah uh, mine I wrote down I was thinking of what could be useful I mean what are the things that I use but also what can be useful because I just mostly use like very even though Serbian is my first language I, we still don't use very <laughs> complex vocabulary or like complex adjectives so mm-hmm. um, I wrote down nejan which is means like uh, kind of like soft you know, hmm. like Nation. soft, uh, Nation, soft person, not soft, like um, cloth, hmm. that would be Meccan, but soft, hmm. like he's very like uh, kind and, and kind. Okay. something like that. Um, then I also wrote down Divan, Divan. <laughs> which is like one, Turkish, but... Yeah, actually <laughs> we have a word a Divan that's different, Divan. But yeah, this is and that's divan. a furniture. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but this is divan and this is like wonderful yeah divan yeah oh, that's true. So i see wonderful. it in the advertisements yeah <laughs> and i don't know i really like the the word in it, uh, like in serbian diva nekako <laughs> just said nekako somehow it just um nekako is somehow somehow it just uh, um, describes things like i don't know it's a nice word for me then i have the adjective uh zanimiv hmm it's interesting oh, like he's mm-hmm. he's interesting on his name live right mm-hmm. uh, and fem- female would be the name dia no the name liva mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> and then uh, we have uh, i wrote down pametan which is new one? for me no yeah that means smart really yeah nobody told me smart then <laughs> exactly well now you're like why don't you tell me how smart okay uh, i will talk to my friends about that what's been happening um for a, fe- a feminine like form is uh, pametna so this is pametna. where we flip right mm-hmm. um and then the last one is that i wrote down is tejak tejak yeah mm-hmm. difficult yes difficult so it can mean heavy like something is heavy Mm-hmm. And also it can mean someone is really difficult. Like, oh, this is tako teška. Tako teška, I said for Serbian, Serbian a lot. So that's why I know it. Mm. Oh man, this now is so diff- uh, This is so interesting. For a guy, you say on je težak. For a girl, mm-hmm. teška. Teška, completely so, irregular. <laughs> yeah, now I just noticed hmm, something we can talk about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. For by the way, divan. I want to ask. Um, divno comes from divan, then, right? Or not? Mm, divno not... pivo. How do I remember divno? Where do I remember divno from? Divanimo, the verb that I told you uh, about. You remember the slang, and it said divanimo means to just talk and like chatter, hmm. chit chat with someone, and hmm. you're just like chilling and talking to someone. Mm-hmm. That's what so divno is something different. Divno is different. It might have been taken mm-hmm. out of that context, but mm-hmm. uh, like, you know, you're chilling, you're, and this is wonderful. I don't know, maybe because of that, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Okay, cool. Mm. So we will um, use comparative forms, and I wanted to compare our cities while doing that. Mm-hmm. I mean, your uh, city is Renyanin and my city is Kuroshawa. Exactly. Do we use the same adjectives that we now mentioned or we can use whichever? Mm, we can first describe what is, how do we do comparison in Serbian mm-hmm. and then we can use some of them. Why not? <laughs> so one important thing is in Serbian, we don't have this thing more, more mm-hmm. beautiful, right? So that's out of the question. We just have... Mm-hmm 
the endings, right? Yeah. I said they are e, y, and she, she, she. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So That's comparison. Star is old, mm-hmm. and older is study ye. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. You ask me. I will try to do. <laughs> okay. Interessanten. Oh, that was like very fast. Interessanten. Yes. Interessanten should be interessant. Ni. Mm-hmm. And I think the reason why we have this one e right is just for it to be a bit easier to pronounce. Imagine if you mm-hmm. said interessant ni mm-hmm. Like it's just it has to be ni right? Yes, interessant ni. So there mm-hmm. are three consonants together. Interessant ni. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then uh, nov. No, uh, no V. Mm-hmm. Because uh, no V is hard again, right? Exactly. That would be no V. No V. I don't know. That, that's just weird. Yeah, no V. <laughs> which is yeah. new. Then uh, Hladan, which is cold. Cold. It should, um, the ending should change, of course. Mm-hmm. Hladni. Yes. And then we get to the difficult one, actually. Uh, topal. I think they are similar. Hlad, uh, and topo. When mm-hmm. you say hladno and toplo, the mm-hmm. endings get lost. So that's why it is easier for me to get rid of them and say topli. Exactly. So this is a good point. So it's it's you should usually go to the neuter form, which is mm-hmm. toplo, right? And then mm-hmm. add the um, uh, the suffix. The more suffix. Yeah. Mm, exactly. Okay. Oh, miran. Quiet. Quiet is a nice adjective. Yeah, quiet. Mm-hmm. And as it ends with an, like hladan, it should be mirni. Mm-hmm. Mirni. Uh, yeftin, which is cheap. Yeah, that's a very important adjective. Yeftini. Mm-hmm. Yeftini. Good, good. That, it was time, that difficult. This time we didn't change anything. That was the more, <laughs> more regular mm. adjective. Then uh, siguran. Ending with an, so let's get rid of that. Sigurni. Mm-hmm, that's good. Good that you always repeat it, right? Yeah. Um, siguran means like secure, uh, yeah. like sure. Or sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly. Are you sure? Sigurno? Mm. <laughs> then we get to more complicated stuff. You're you're talking about how comparatives are like so easy, but actually there's like there are some. This was the easy part. Yeah. Now we get to the difficult part, yeah. which is where we have phonetic change, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So when we have these different uh, consonants, I guess at the end, like dug, which is long, right? Mm-hmm. Dug. Mm-hmm. Dug becomes duji. Yeah. Let me think. And there's no reason. <laughs> to, to, I'm just thinking about what the name of that change is. I think it's palatalizatia, but I'm not quite sure. But anyway, mm-hmm. there's there's a specific name for that. Dug duji. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. I I ask you, or you can ask okay. me. Okay. Okay, I ask you. That's going to be easy for me. Okay. <laughs> Mlad. Mladji. What is Mlad? Is, uh, young. Young. Yes. So you dug- also have a mlad oh. look. Right, mladi look. Mm. Wait, why? That's spring onion. Ah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mladiluk. Or green onions. I don't know what the difference is. Okay, um, mladi and uh, kratak, which is short. Exactly, krachi. Mm-hmm. We can use it for for the height of a person, right? Kratak or not? Uh, no, you will usually say niji. Nizak, Niji. Ah, Nizak for, yeah, mm-hmm. Kratak for, for roads, Krat- for, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Dalek. Dali. <laughs> From K to Y, like, I don't know how that happened. Yeah, okay. you just use the root, Dal, I guess. Dal, and, and then, then add a, yeah. Dali. And Burs. Uh, Brzi, which is fast. Yes, burz, burz, burz. In the movies, I see that I hear it a lot. <laughs> burza, 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 like yeah, fast, burza, fast, burza. right? Mm. Yeah. Or let's go, go, go. 
Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These were just phonetic changes, so they were not even irregulars. Yeah. Irregulars mean they completely change. Yeah. Not completely, but mostly, let's say. Which we have like, in English, right? Yes. As well. And for the same adjective, good. Good becomes better, and dobar becomes? Bolli. Bolli, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and bad is maybe the same or not? I think that. It's also irregular, right? Bad, worse. Mm -hmm. Loche. The worst. Mm -hmm. Losh. Mm -hmm. Gori. Gori. Mm. So, dobar, poli, losh, gori. Uh, there's a, a movie, dobar, losh, zao. There you go. Hmm. Zao. Let me think about it. Zao, zl, zl, I don't know how to <laughs> compare that one. <laughs> dobar, but anyway. Okay, dobar, losh means good, bad, and... Yeah. Uh, oh, Zao is uh, evil. Evil, uh, I mm. say. Mm. But another adjective to learn. There you go. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and velik, which is mm -hmm. big, is vechi. Vechi. Mm -hmm. And mali, which is small, mm -hmm. mani. is mani. Mm -hmm. yeah. So <laughs> there is no formula for this. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, that's okay. Before we continue with the show, here's a quick reminder. This podcast is free for everyone and supported by listeners like you. We hope that this podcast is useful and companion to you. This is a labor of love for both of us. To help us continue creating useful content for everyone, we will appreciate your help. If you have the means, you can support us in different ways. You may just go to buymeacoffee.com slash Mosde Kafa podcast and send us some cups of coffee. You may also become a member of our show on patreon.com slash Mosde Kafa podcast and get extra benefits like bonus content, full transcripts of the show in Serbian, or even join us on the show. We rely on your support to help everyone more in learning Serbian language and culture. Thanks for joining us today. And now let's get back to our episode well, if, like a lot of things in in the in grammars, right? There's just like mm -hmm. a lot of um, exceptions. So mm -hmm. I'm sorry, guys. This is like you know we started it. This is easy, but then like it got progressively worse, and it might even yeah. get worse. We don't even stop there. Okay, these are how we <laughs> say the adjectives, but then we have then in English, like, but in in Serbian we have two options there, right? For then, aha, uh -huh, okay, then, yeah, like older than, shorter than, mm -hmm. better than. So we have nego mm -hmm. in the nominative case, like let's give an example with Kurševac and Zranjini. <laughs> Let me see what you're gonna use, which adjective. Mm, I, I was like, <laughs> let's use something neuter, like topo. Mm -hmm. So it will be topli. And I should say Kuruševac je uh, topli nego zrenje. Mm -hmm. So I would say that that one I would use very rarely. Hmm. Uh, is that something that you found in the book, right? No, I'm just making it up now. No, no, no. I mean the ne nego. Nego, yes. Yeah, I found, found it in the, the book. book. Yes. Kruševac je topli nego... Um, yeah, sure, you can use it, but mm. it just sounds so odd to me. I don't know how to explain it. Is it formal, it. maybe? Like, mm. What would you use? Odd. Odd, even if it's not genitive. No, no, no. I would use it. I would just use that form. Say it. Right. With, how you would say it? Kruševac je topli od zrenjanina. Mm. Od zrenjanina. So mm -hmm. you are using the genitive form. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right oh but i would use it for example i think i would use it for specific nego i would use specific for specific like um situations like hmm. oh yeah tisi bolje nego ja tisi bolje nego ja mm, you are better than me yes uh but again i would use more tisi bolje od mene mm, for some reason, I don't know, I just tend to go towards the second one. But you guys let us know what you use and what you've learned. Mm. Mm. Okay, so in when you compare the meanings, there's not 
a big difference there. No, not at all. No, no. But it's and, just um, so that's a good point that you made with nego. It's uh, the uh, the noun that's being compared to something else is in nominative, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for odd it's in genitive. So the ending will be a uh, most of the time. Yeah, if it's a masculine word, right? Mm -hmm. Then it will be a. Uh. So all mm -hmm. the the names of the cities are mostly in masculine form, then, right? Or does it change? Mm, yes, I think they are mostly masculine. Let me think. But if, if I would have... say Kurushevat is smaller than Belgrade, I would say Kurushevat je manji od Belgrada. Mm -hmm. But then you have a, a, a city that's in feminine, Subotica. Mm. Yeah, when it ends in A. Ah. Yeah, then okay. it's um, uh, Belgrade je veći which is like bigger, right? Veći mm -hmm. od Subotice. Subotice. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A becomes E in, the, in genitive mm -hmm. form. Okay. And I think for neuter, it's the same as for masculine, right? So mm -hmm. it, you add the, or like change into A, the, the last mm -hmm. sound. Okay. Cool. That's easy. Okay. I will use more genitive than I was using more in my nominative case. <laughs> You were you actually I would really like to know from your friends if they I mean this is my personal opinion but because I, somehow mm. I was like oh man I haven't been using nego for such mm. a long time but <laughs> I always use odd and I'm guessing it's also maybe regional maybe I just because mm. I'm outside of Serbia so don't really hear it that often but mm -hmm. um, I would like to know yeah as they speak so fast I'm to be honest I'm not 100% sure if they use nego or odd more ah, okay. I don't pay more attention <laughs> But good to know okay. that there are two options, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, it's kind of uh, complicated in the beginning, but then you have two options when mm. you're more comfortable with the language. Of course, at least to understand, you know, if not to speak, yeah. at least to understand. Yeah. And I find the superlative form easier or mm. more different mm. because when in you... English you have most, but you use the comparative form in Serbian. Mm -hmm. You add, you add yeah. nai, and then you don't use the, like the, the basic adjective there. Yeah, so I think it gets, so first of all, you add nai in front, right? So that's mm -hmm. a, uh, something that you should learn. And I think for every adjective, I don't think there's any that's there might be some exceptions. And mm -hmm. then it's, oh, of course, before, if you want to know the superlative, you should know the comparative because yeah, that you makes it You have to easier. learn, there's no escape. <laughs> because it doesn't, it usually is attached to the comparative, right? But that's good. I mean, you are learning two things, like you have to learn mm -hmm. comparative. So it's, yeah. it's useful. As soon as you know the comparative, you're going to know the superlative as well. Yeah. 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 For example, lep was mm -hmm. one of my adjectives, which was irregular. Lepshi yeah. mm. is more beautiful. And superlative form is nai lepshi. Exactly. Then doba. And the doba. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Sorry, so you I can't. was going to say that. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> nai bolje is everywhere in the advertisements in the yeah. songs in the whatever you hear or read uh, naiboli is there so it means the best mm. naiboli we smo naiboli uh so dobar boli naiboli again mm -hmm. boli naiboli so i can say tisi naiboli you're the best ah oh for a woman it would be tisi naibolja. Mm, that's true <laughs> exactly yeah this it's adjectives right we have to always mm -hmm. think about it um and then uh brz or like brz fast mm -hmm. sorry guys brz like where <laughs> is where is the vowel in there brz brz mm -hmm. and nai brz yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> that's the easy nai is like uh so easy it doesn't change you just put it there exactly that's why there's no uh, like exceptions there's no different forms it's just nine mm. i have a trivia for you or like a question or a quiz okay. do you know the uh and if you answer it wrong that's totally fine so if you, you have an adjective yak which is strong 
Mm-hmm. Then you have yachi. And then the superlative would be? Nai nachi. Nai yachi. Nai yachi. So double J. We can't use that. Let's get rid of, I would say. No, actually, this is the tricky part. We never double consonants. We have a lot of consonants, but the rule mm. is never to double them. So we don't have better, right? To tease mm-hmm. or whatever. But in this case, you keep the, if the, if the word, the adjective starts, uh, begins with a J, you mm-hmm. keep it. Nayachi, nayadni, like the, nay, um, I don't know, whatever, whichever adjective you have, mm-hmm. uh, the starts, the begins with a name. That's there you go. Mm, the only time we kind of, you know, make an exception. Oh, that's cool. And when we use them in the sentence, in the sentence, we use the genitive form again, right? Which um, is interesting, like odd. For, oh, no. ah, uh, oh, for sorry, I didn't even think about it. Give me, do you have an example? So, for example, uh, you. This is the oldest in town. This building mm-hmm. is the oldest in town. So you would say. Naj, ova zgrada je najstarija u gradu. Actually, you wouldn't compare it, would you? Because it's hmm. it's already the superlative. Yeah. Why do I have genitive case plural? But of something, let's say this is the best of Serbia. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. The, in that case, yes. Uh, mm. Not in, but of. off. Uh, like out of everything that you see, like or everything you experience, this mm-hmm. is the best one. Yeah, yeah. Nai ovo je najbolji grad Serbije. Exactly. So. You don't have to use odd actually for your genitive. You don't have to use odd all the time. Um, okay. So, but it was it is still genitive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I say. Oh, you can let me let me use one with odd. Uh, uh, let's je, say. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. You have an example in your mind. Go ahead. <laughs> ovo je najbolje pivo. This is the best mm-hmm. beer. Yes. Od svih u gradu. Out of yeah. all of them in in town. Out of every mm. be- any beer in town, that's when you I would see. use it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, for example, she is the smartest in off mm, in the class. We say that, right? <laughs> uh, oh, oh! I haven't said. Ona je najpametnija od sve dece. Mm, of all the kids. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I would say. Can you say the the smartest one more time? Najpametnija. Oh. For Naipa girl, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Met ni ye for a guy, right? Okay. But you know, let me let me just kind of try to deduct. So you don't use odd if it's uh, something that belongs to, like for example, mm-hmm. the best of Serbia, right? Kind of it belongs mm-hmm. to Serbia. But if you're kind of comparing, like out of every everything that you've like whatever, then you use odd, right? Odd. Mm-hmm. But you don't need to say odd. You just need to use the suffix. Most. Uh, that's optional like, well the the optional stuff uh, uh uh which one like that's the best beer of all in town you said right mm-hmm. Over Over pivo pivo. Od svih. yeah uh-huh. you don't have to use uh, yeah, yeah. if you don't say odd there svih, uh, od, uh, would it be okay to say od svih, yeah, od... without odd svih. Hmm. No, no, because it's not the belonging, mm. part. it's not belonging to the city, right? It's just the, but it like the cities belong to Serbia, right? In a sense, mm. I don't know, it's a bit weird. It's this like yeah, possession okay. thing. To yeah. be on the safe side, we can use odd then. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think that's more common if you're comparing it to something else, like the mm. best out of everything, right? Mm-hmm. So, I wrote this bird, maybe. This is genitive case plural, like, mm-hmm. because you always say the best of something plural, right? That's why mm-hmm. uh, it is the plural form of the genitive. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I wrote an example. To je jedna od najboljih prodavnice. 
Mm -hmm. That's good. Right. This is uh, one of the best stores. Yeah, stores. Yeah. Or like, it, it actually, Pradavnica can mean store for like clothes, but also it can mean like just the grocery store as well. So, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's and anything, can be anything. Yeah. So, and what I said is this is one of the best stores. To je jedna mm -hmm. od najboljih prodavnica. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that's good that's good to jedna najbolji prodavnica and because you're comparing you have odd right mm -hmm. this is one of the blah blah this is very common way yeah. of speaking right this is yeah one of the so that's why i will give you one more <laughs> to je jedan od najvećih gradova yeah grad is a city right actually uh -huh. we don't have a distinction between town and a city so it's just grad right for for yeah. us belgrade is a city krushevac is a city like grad right everything is grad mm -hmm. um, so najvećih is the oldest one of the oldest cities i said to je jedan mm -hmm. od najvećih gradova uh, so no najvećih see... is the biggest ah uh, that's true veliki <laughs> veći <laughs> exactly so we have um, in plural ich suffix in in genitive form. Mm -hmm. Od if, ich, if yeah. it's female. Najboljih, if na... mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Actually, also both for najboljih, najvećih. So uh, ta prodavnica, taj grad. So it's for both feminine and masculine, yes, right? Yes, that's true. That's mm -hmm. true. I wrote it there. In genitive case, plural, all three genders, like need to, including the term... Mm -hmm. male and female have the same ending ah there you go <laughs> <laughs> so happy. all of you start saying one of those days one of the best blah blah <laughs> that's the easiest sentence in in Serbia <laughs> exactly yeah I think this is really good you wrote down like um uh, an example like park is park the uh, masculine <laughs> park and then the plural is parkovi and then the genitive plural will be parkova yes right uh, neuter vino or pivo mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think I prefer vino vino <laughs> wine right uh, vina plural and then genitive uh, vina as well plural and then feminine ulica which is already ending in a in plural it will end with a ulice and then genitive form ulica exactly it seems to me that genitive like either has the ending a or e so hmm. if you see it is mostly genitive okay good okay let's have a short dialogue now then okay what so should i start I, yeah because i haven't translated so i think i'm gonna do it spontaneously okay um okay let's <laughs> let me ask you um ko, uh, let me think koi grad je veci which je veci Mm -hmm. Which city is bigger? Mm -hmm. Kruševac ili Zrenjanin? Hmm. Za mene, I think. Mm -hmm. Mislim da, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Zrenjanin uh, je veći. Mm -hmm. Mislim da je Zrenjanin veći. Yeah. Da je Zrenjanin veći. Mm -hmm. And which is true. I think it's the third biggest city in I Serbia. was shocked. Somehow. Sometimes somehow i don't know how somehow it is yeah that's okay funny. and Khrushchevac is more crowded i want to say compared to zrenjini mm -hmm. um oh crowded is not an adjective yeah i'm, I'm thinking uh, uh oh man let's use another adjective because i can't okay. like think of it right now the way i can say ali Kuruševac je lepši. Um, slažem se. Actually, I don't know because I, I've never been you there. You haven't but... seen. Me neither. I haven't exactly. seen Zrenjanin. <laughs> okay, good. Good. So I think we're running out of time. So I think this will be yeah. too long even for everyone. We'll try to include like maybe a bit bigger, like a longer dialogue, um, yeah. dialogue in the transcript or something. So yeah, you can we always can read check it, it later. Out. We yeah. can share it later. Yeah. You can always check it out on our Patreon. This is where we post like our like longer transcripts with the Cyrillic uh, script mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. Okay. 
that was useful. Um, I'm looking forward to yeah. the comments of our followers. I learned something new today, just so you know, this was all new to me. It so was like a uh, brainstorming session, right? <laughs> exactly. So I think it's good for you to go through that, uh, through that like uh, thinking process with us as well. Okay. Hope okay. you enjoyed it, Eve. Okay. Prijetno then. Prijetno. <laughs>